Hey everyone, so this is my skin today. It's getting better each day and I'm so excited to the point that I would wake up and be excited to see the mirror because I'm seeing progress every single day. It just gets better, but I am trying not to get too excited because you never know what's going to happen um, with TSW. You could enter another flare, but I am just um, grateful for the progress that's happening now and I'm enjoying it. Um, and next week I have this mother's dinner that I'm invited to because I used to work at a childcare and every year they have this mother's dinner where all the staff and the mothers um, get together and have dinner. Um, and I, my boss invited me, which was so nice, but I'm not, I'm still not sure if I'm gonna go. Um, I went to the Amen launch event yesterday and that was so much fun. I didn't cover up. Um, so I am feeling a bit comfortable going out, but it's a bit different because that Amen event, I didn't know anyone there. So it was easier for me to go there, but I know everyone from work. So, and the parents as well. So I'm a bit nervous to go. So I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going or not yet. I will keep you guys updated. Hey guys, so for the first time um, after a long time, I'm gonna try and sleep without the bandages and we'll see how it goes. Good morning everyone. So today I'm going to the airport to pick up my cousin who has arrived from Japan and um, yeah, and I have some wins I want to share with you guys. So as you guys know, last night I slept without my bandages um, on my arms for the first time in months. Literally like in four months maybe, five months. And great news, I didn't scratch them at all. I used to have like a sensory issue with my skin touching the blankets or anything because it just burnt and it's like kind of like stung um, almost but that didn't happen either so yeah I, I'm just so happy I'm just I'm healing I can finally feel it and my face is doing really well too it's slowly showing the skin and yeah right now it's 7 like 40 and I haven't had breakfast, but I'm not really hungry right now. I had um, a few blueberries, but I'm hoping that I can eat out today um, because um, I'm going to meet my mom and then we're going to go together to the airport to pick up my cousin. His check-in is around 2 o'clock, so we, we're going to hang around in the city until then. And we're thinking of eating lunch out. I haven't eaten out in so long, so we'll see how I go. I feel like if I just leave my mask on here and just like cover up my face a little bit, it's fine. It looks fine, right? Yeah, so I am probably gonna do that. But I'll, I'll be vlogging um, our way to the airport and a little bit um, during the day as well. Hey guys, I 
just came back from showing my cousin around the city with my mom and like I said this morning, I ate out for the first time in months literally like four or five months and it was so good like I was just enjoying myself like feeling normal again yeah my skin's seen well I'm just about to do the Dead Sea Salt bath so I uh, will see you guys later I'm about to go out for some dinner with my cousin my sister and my mum and, and my boyfriend this is the fit I just did the dead sea salt bath and my skin's looking great, a bit flaky, um, it does get pretty dry after I hop out of the bath. Where is that? Is it weird if I don't have a mask on? Like on the camera it looks fine, but in the mirror you can see it's pretty flaky. Like here. Should I wear a mask? But I'm so happy I can eat out now. Today I decided to go to the beach for a swim. It's my first time swimming during TSW and oh my god, it stung so bad. Like while I was in there, I couldn't feel it because it was really cold, but as soon as I hopped out, I could feel the singing all over my body from head to toe, literally. And like to the point I could, I could have fainted. So I quickly wiped the water off my body and then it got better. And after that I was completely fine and it actually felt really good. So yeah, it was a really good day. And then we decided to go to the cafe and we both got a chai latte and also a gluten-free muffin. I got home and I was filling up a jar of the grains that I usually put in my rice. Um, I buy the individual grains from an Asian store so if you want to check it out you can have a look. Um, and I also mix the black rice with the white rice. Okay, so do you guys remember how I told you guys that Hello. there's a mother's dinner thing happening with the with my co-workers? I wasn't going to go at first, but my skin was doing well and I thought, why not? So I decided to go and I messaged my boss that I changed my mind and she was very welcoming. So, yeah. And so I'm heading to the station to see my friend or co-worker slash friends so that we can go to the restaurant together. I was feeling pretty nervous to see everyone so I told my friend about it and she was so nice and she offered to meet before the dinner so that I can kind of get used to socializing I guess and yeah that's what we did and then we we shopped around a bit and then we took the bus to go to the restaurant. Be alone. <laughs> I think Angela will be home. I'm still upstairs. How do I get in? Oh wait. <laughs> oh here.
mother's dinner. It was so much fun and I'm so glad I went. Everyone was so caring and supportive and they um, had said that they've been watching my YouTube and they um, are following along my journey. So I'm so happy that they're so supportive and I'm so grateful. But yeah, my voice is a bit raspy because I talked so much. We were like catching up, but yeah. It was, it was a fun night. It's 10 p.m. right now, so it's pretty late. I heard lots of stories about the kitties and I just can't um, wait to see them. But yeah, apparently um, my colleagues have been watching my YouTube and one time there were these um, two kids that came over to see the YouTube and they haven't seen me for like five months. And, and when they saw the YouTube, um, they were like, Remy, Remy. and how sweet is that? Like, because I um, used to work in um, at the baby's room, which is like zero to two years old, so they're pretty little, and I don't think they would like remember me because I haven't seen them in five months, but they do, and that made me so happy. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna visit them soon now that my skin's um, a lot better. So yeah, I'm so glad I went. So last night, after I came back from the dinner, I got so itchy. I think it was just like too much socialising for me and and it had been like so long since I went out like to socialise. So yeah, it was just like too much and I got overwhelmed a little bit and although it was fun, like it was fun catching up, I came home and I got so itchy around my chin, neck, this area. And then I scratched it um, during my sleep. But yeah, um, I'm sure it's not the food that I ate yesterday because they were all like the things I've been eating and I've been fine. Um, so yeah, I'm sure it's the stress. But yeah, I'm just gonna hop in the Dead Sea salt bath and see and hopefully it will calm my skin a little bit. And then I'll do red light therapy. Today we went to Vinnie's, um, for those of you who don't know what Vinnie's are, it's an Australian um, thrift shop. It's pretty fun looking at secondhand clothing um, and yeah. We got home and I gave my boyfriend a haircut, I usually do it every month. guys I'm just cooking dinner I'm making miso soup and this is just salmon miso salmon um, yeah I just wanted to quickly film myself because I had a thought okay so I wanted to quickly hop on here because I wanted to share with you guys something that I was just thinking about randomly um, so recently I've been like okay with how I am at like at, like I've accepted where I'm at in my life and that I'm dealing with a skin condition like I've accepted the fact that I am going through this and this is my life now so before I used to think like oh this is not me like I'm just going through this phase in my life that's just not like like it's not real do you get what I mean like it's just like a little like and that I would go back go back to having my old life back after I get through this but what I realized is that this is a part of my life as well like it's just there is no past like the past doesn't exist it's just in our memory and the only thing that exists now is right now like this moment right now so there is no past, there is no future that exists right now. So, and this is my life right now. So, and I'm okay with it. Like, eventually I will heal and that will be my reality then. And that time will come when it's supposed to come and I'm not like rushing for it because this is my life right now. So I'm just enjoying my this part of my life now. So, 
gonna get a check of my miso soup. Yeah, so I was saying, one day you will be okay with where you are right now. I wasn't at first, but I can finally say that I am now. And I don't think this is what you want to hear because it wasn't what I wanted to hear when I first started the TSW journey because I didn't want to accept the fact that I am going through this and it's going to take months and years to fully heal. So I'm just doing a voiceover because I wanted to add something onto what I was saying. So that wasn't what I wanted to hear and what I wanted to hear was that like you will heal like it's just going to be like a quick um little healing process and you'll be back to having clear skin in no time like that was what I wanted to hear I didn't want to hear like you'll be here for a while and you need to accept the fact that this is your life right now like that was not what I wanted to hear but eventually I accepted it and yeah here I am I used to think oh when I heal I'm gonna do this when I heal I'm gonna do this so I wasn't living my life um, I was kind of like, I kind of like switched off to like sleep mode kind of. Now I go out and have fun and I'm okay with it. So I hope that you guys will be the same and embrace yourself and have the best time because it's not worth hiding away and missing out on opportunities and fun times just because of your skin and I know it's a lot more than your skin but and don't force yourself because it's not um it's not healthy to do so and and I get I get that I've been there it's not like I go out all the time like I only recently started going out and yeah event eventually our skin will heal and we will have clear skin and live our life but that you in the future isn't the same as your old self with the clear skin you've been through this you've been through tsw and it's going to make you so much stronger mentally and you're going to be so much wiser and you're going to have glowing skin so this part of your life is such an important part of your life I'm so grateful that I'm going through this because I've learned so much from it and I've learned to truly love myself. So yeah, I wish you guys all the best and you will be okay. We're in this together. Okay, I'm gonna have dinner now. It's ready now. Mm. Hey guys, we, so me and my boyfriend literally got locked out of our own house so what happened was me um i was we were having dinner with my cousin and we and he's staying at the city um and it was really late so we drove him home and then we just forgot to bring the keys so um yeah we're just we're just at macca's He's getting like some water and stuff. Went to the bathroom. And yeah, looks like we're gonna sleep in the car tonight. Me and my boyfriend, we live with his brother. So his brother's at home, but I think he's asleep because we tried to ring him, but he didn't pick up. And we like, we like spammed his phone, but he just won't, he's just not responding. And we also even, um, we have a Google Nest in our living room and I connected it to my phone and we blasted out music, but he just didn't wake up. And he's not a deep sleeper, he's such a sensitive sleeper, so I don't know why he didn't wake up, but yeah, we're stuck outside. Good morning. So we ended up waking up at 6 a.m. and we're heading home to see if my boyfriend's brother is awake. We couldn't sleep very well, obviously, and it was so cold. We rang the door and his brother answered. So we finally got home and we went back to sleep and it was so grateful for the bed.